good morning to each one of you on the eve of fourth anniversary of learning space i thought it appropriate to present my life journey how my life over the past 54 years transcended various ups and downs let us go back to 1966 i was born in december 66 in a village called anigandla padu that straddles somewhere in between vijayawada on one side khammam on the other side it is in present day andhra pradesh and telangana border is just 5 kilometers from my village and my parents rangayya and venkatanarasamma in the year 1977 there was divi cyclone which devastated and taken away thousands of lives at that point of time our tobacco cultivation has vanished subsequently my family was into debt trap in the year 1980 because of debt trap we moved from pakka house to kacha house and when i was in 10th standard in 1980 81 in fact there was no electricity in my house friends against all odds in the ssc examination that means 10th standard in 1981 i got several laurels i stood district first in general science i stood district second in mathematics i was one of the qualified candidates for the state mathematical olympiad normally with these credentials anyone look forward towards iit or some engineering degree because of the debt trap at that point of time the concern to my parents was how to get good job within 3 4 years having that in mind my father approached the teachers to suggest something in fact they suggested polytechnic that is 3 year diploma course that the assumption was after completing diploma course he will get into some good job so that they will come out of debt trap that was the impression i joined ramantapur polytechnic in hyderabad the point to note here is i could not do plus 2 that means after 10th class I joined Polytechnic and I stood college first in Ramantapur, Hyderabad. Subsequently, when I came out of the college in 1985, I got into the works inspector job on temporary basis in Andhra Pradesh Housing Corporation. And at that time, the salary was 500 rupees and that was on temporary basis. In fact, my father was not happy with the job and he knows very well that i got several awards in 10th standard they advised me to go and do ammie which is equivalent to btech accordingly by borrowing money my father took me to chennai in 1985 by sarkar express from vijayawada to chennai and after going to AMI coaching in Chennai that then Madras I was not happy with the coaching system then I went back I studied in the shade of the neem tree in my kacha house and I stood all india rank in section A of AMI and the then governor of undivided andhra pradesh kumut ben joshi awarded me a certificate in hyderabad and after completing ammi i wrote gate and got admission into nit varangal the then regional engineering college varangal and i joined structural engineering in mtech at that point of time i wrote engineering services examination and in the engineering services examination i got through and i joined indian railway service of engineers i belongs to 1990 batch in fact i was not attracted by civil services but i attempted three preliminary attempts because in those days maximum three attempts 
and I just cleared all three attempts, but I never appeared for mains. Meanwhile, I joined in Indian Railways in 1991 December, and in 1992, I got married to a girl from doctor's family, and subsequently, we were blessed with the two children, and the journey in Indian Railways as a Group A officer could not satisfy me. What are the reasons? There are two main reasons. One is, I am always perfectionist. I look for perfection. But in the government service, it is very rare to implement perfection. The second reason is, if you are too good, probably many people, many bosses may not like you. Because of these reasons, in the year around 2005-2006, I thought quitting the job. At the point of time, my age was around 39 and I completed 15 years of service. My wife advised to complete at least 20 years of service so that I can get monthly pension so as to take care of all the ups and downs in life subsequently. So I waited till 2012 to say goodbye to the job with the intention of completing just 20 years to get pension. And meanwhile, during 2006 to 2010, when I was in the senior managerial positions in Indian Railways, normally all of you are well aware who used to get huge bungalows. And at that point of time, I brought around 100 children in the nearby slum areas and I engaged two teachers to teach them during the evening times from 6 o'clock to 9 o'clock and probably that was the origin and the other important aspect is I have innate passion for teaching and it was clearly evident when I was studying in college at that point of time also in 1980s when I used to go to my native place, I used to teach several students. Right. Finally, I quit the job in 2012. Since 2012, we tried several aspects. What to do for the society? What to do for the nation? First thing which struck my mind in 2012 was skill development. Accordingly, we started developing skills to the undergraduate students and subsequently what we have done was for three years we brought 100 students and they sat with me for three years along with my colleagues and many of them entered various jobs. One fine morning in 2015 an idea struck why can't we open YouTube channel to teach current affairs that's how informally the journey started. And subsequently, in 2017, on April 1st, we started Learning Space Digital. And during the past four years, we were able to get a lot of mandate from the people and well-wishers definitely recognize Learning Space as one of the best platforms. Right, friends? This is all about my life story for the past 54 years of my life from my childhood and you may have a doubt what is the mission the mission is I left Indian Railway Service of Engineers to provide the nation with the best possible education best quality education at the least possible cost we are supported by 25 committed workforce and who work day and night to fulfill the mission of this perfection in education. And as a matter of fact, I work at around 14 to 16 hours a day. And our mission collectively at Learning Space is to provide you the best quality education. In this context, two things let me announce. First one is, from 5th April, we are launching two separate channels in YouTube, one exclusively for IAS, other one for banking. And we are going to upload regularly valuable videos through that. And at the same time, 
so as to have more outreach in future within a week i am going to reach out to some of you at least through google meet or zoom direct interaction with several students of this nation we are planning so this is the mission for high quality education and why i thought it to present my life is you can see several strands of my life you can learn so many things and what you have learned that you can put forth in the comments so that others can imbibe good qualities and with this let me say best of you to each one of you and my final advice is don't leave the things at the beginning don't leave the things when you are not able to succeed success will come to you provided you maintain the steadfast commitment discipline and never leave approach so in the present day youth my whole ambition and team learning space ambition is to inculcate values ethics and high quality education this endeavor will continue and we require your wholehearted cooperation with these words thank you